And Ms. Buckner used to work with the zoo, so we have some zoo connections. So I need your help because the zoo has a dilemma. And the dilemma is they're out of toothpaste for the elephants. Oh, so picture, well, they're big. We need to brush our teeth, right? So they don't they get um, disease, so they need to brush theirs. They have to do that. I don't know. So anyway, this is what I heard. I heard the zoo needed some toothpaste, and I thought, hey, we're in a chem unit, and we're talking about physical and chemical change, so maybe we could try to help. Are you guys in? Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. So, so I think we make toothpaste. We're going to try, and then you're going to have to assess to think if we could really send this to elephants. We're going to do toothpaste. So, we're going to try. We're going to try. So, so here's what I know. Toothpaste, so what, toothpaste needs to be multicolored because I like multicolored toothpaste. So, we're going to add tooth dye, you know, okay? Um, it needs to release heat because we know we want to know that it's working, that there's some sort of chemical change happening. I also missed that makes it really seem like it works. And then. And then we want it to be foamy, because I like foamy toothpaste. Do you guys remember me so far? Yep. Oh, no. All right, Spencer's a little skeptical. All right, so we're going to determine if this is a physical or chemical change. And I'm going to need four violent tubes, yeah. only four. Oh, so my goodness. We're going to use a large, just what is what this is called? A beaker. It's not a beaker. What's it called? A tube. It's but called a graduated cylinder, so you're pretty close. This is a 1,000 milliliter graduated cylinder, so it's large. We'll put this in the middle to make our toothpaste in. Now, let's start off with the color. So I'm going to need Alex. I want you to add the color. Come on up. Let's get some color. So here's what we're going to do. Pick one or more colors you want to use. And you're going to drip it down the sides. So you got to open it. All right, you ready? So drip it down the side till we get a good amount, and then we'll do the next one. All right, good. Next packet. All right, I'm gonna spin it. This is the Lavinia book. All right, are you doing all three colors? Okay, now that's enough. Count it. You like green? Yeah, we're gonna have, we have green and yellow so far, and on the third side, we're gonna add blue. Very nice job, Alex. Oh. Okay. So. All right, um, not a katana. I just want to make a There you go. Okay, this is potassium iodide. I'll put the information. We're going to start with this one right here. Uh, you can take notes in, in the top. We're also going to draw a picture too, so you can wait if you want to do it at the end. I'll give you time. This is potassium iodide. Now, potassium is found in our first group. So what do we know about that group? Come on guys, what do we know? We know this. Bingo. Nice job. Spencer, say that again. It has a reaction. So, guess what? If we had our toothpaste work, I thought, hey, maybe something is in Alright, dump it in. Alright, good so far. So there's our potassium iodide. Alright, you can scooch on back. Um, Carlos, come on up. Carlos, um, you're going to do the next part. This, so tell me, I've never made toothpaste before, but I like when toothpaste is foamy, and I know my hands get really clean when I wash them, so I'm going to give you some Dawn dish soap. <laughs> what do we think? Can the elephant handle Dawn dish soap? No. No. You don't think so? Now, this is really thick, so we'll give him a second. I'm pretty sure Dawn is safe for animals, though. Know? Like they use it in the oil spill? Not to put it inside of their mouth. All right. Very nice, Carlos. All right. Alright, Alex. Oh, sorry, no. You already went. Sorry. Alright, since you're gonna do the last part and we should see a change, let's put the gloves on to be super safe. Be careful. Now, because this is experimental and we're determining if this is gonna be good quality toothpaste, we don't wanna to touch anything. That's why Kendall's gonna wear gloves, and I'm gonna wear gloves, and you all are gonna stay back nice and far since I didn't put everybody in goggles. Okay? And everybody does have gloves. So make sure you stay in your seat. Everyone will be able to see, I promise. How are they coming? Good? Okay. Now, Kendall, you are going to get to put in this. And this is hydrogen peroxide. You all know what that is? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You put it on your cuts, right? Yeah. Uh, but uh, the kind you buy from the store is 3%, so it bubbles a little. This is 30%. Oh, 
So we don't want to get this on our skin. This is actually too strong for our skin. That's why we're going to support it. And let's see what happens. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Two, pack! All right, so what do we notice right now? Oh, 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 okay, so there's some heat. How about color? Do we see nice color? Oh, yeah. All right, nice job, Alex. Um, Kendall, since you have gloves on, do you want to touch the side of the So we're not going to touch the foam. We're just going to come over, and I want you to touch just the plastic part, and tell me how it feels. Hot. All right, so we produce some heat. Very nice. All right, so here's my question for you guys. Is this a physical change or a chemical change that we just saw? Chemical. 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 Uh, do you think in all honesty we could give this to elephants? No. 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 Why not? Why try it? Okay, so maybe we need to work on our toothpaste, but it is pretty cool. All right, so let's go back to our seats. Let's talk about why. Before I give you a chance to share as a class, I want you to take a minute and think critically. Last class, we talked all about physical and chemical changes. I want you to draw what you saw happen. I want you to think about why was this a chemical change. You said it was a chemical change, but what's our evidence? I want you to think about it for a minute. Start to record and then we'll talk. I'm going to give you a minute on your own to think. Why was this a chemical change? Bubbles and the heat 
right? And just looking at it, we can just observe the appearance of change, right? So do you all remember last class? We did two labs. We did the Martin Little Lab and the Penny Lab. And you did a really nice job. So when I was reading through your notes right at the end of class, um, you all did a really nice job explaining physical and chemical change. Um, you did a really nice job explaining when we talked about it and when you did something hands-on and you saw the result. You're really good at identifying change when you do that. But when I gave you the question at the end of class about cheese, do you guys remember this? Oh, yeah. Remember we talked about all the different ways we can change cheese, whether we um, grate it into pieces or we uh. talk about fermentation or mixing different kinds together. Do you remember this? Mm -hmm. um, we had a little bit of trouble. And yeah, a lot of you, um, I think had a few misconceptions I really want to work with you to clarify. So, what I've prepared is something that is set up for you based on how um, you did at the end. So I want to make sure that you understand maybe any uh, mistake or confusion. And if you have it, I don't want to re-explain to you because you already got it right. So I'm going to have you work on something else that's a little bit more challenging. Okay? So here's what's going to happen. If you figured out that last analysis question, your explanation looked really good, and I feel confident that you understood it. I'm gonna let you do a few more examples. You're gonna work, um, you guys can pair or trio, I'll let you sit. Um, I'll tell you your names, you're gonna sit down this end of the room, and I want you to work on some examples as a team without my help. You're gonna get um, a bag of cards, there's three different colors. Uh, there's blue, green, and white. So you'll work through each set. There's six cards in each set. And you're going to have to sort them by physical and chemical change. And then you're going to, after you've done all three sets and you've got them laid out, that's something I'm going to circle and be checking them and talking to you about them. Um, and then you're going to record this information on your paper. I'm going to attach a new paper in just a minute. And then if you have extra time, if I'm still working with the other team, um, I'm going to ask that you guys brainstorm your own examples, things that you can think of, and then you can quiz and discuss with each other. Okay, so this is just more practice. Um, if you had a little bit of trouble with this, I want to see if we can clear up where you got confused. And so I'm going to have you guys sit down this end of the room, and I've got you paired or grouped with people who selected the same incorrect answer as you. And then I've got some instructions that kind of walk you through how to think about each of the questions or each of the multiple choice options. And I'm going to help you figure out what each um, option A, B, C, or D was shown? Was it a physical change, a chemical change, and how do we know? Okay, do you guys have any questions about what you're going to be doing? No. Okay, so we're going to have to listen closely because I have a few of you that are going to go different places. Start with the um, one you got wrong. That's why I paired you with those people. Take a look at that particular answer and figure out why it wasn't a chemical change. From there, read yourself through. Um, and then I want to talk with you about why your answer was incorrect and what the correct answer should be. Okay? So why did you get it wrong and what should the right answer be? And I'm going to give each of you these papers to help you through the process. Alright guys. So I'm going to start with you. Butter, melting, or more. Yes, that's the same. Is that physical over here? Melting. I think we see the green. You have all three sets sorted. Is take a peek at a couple of the other groups and see if they sorted them the same way. If they didn't sort them the same way, you guys need to talk to each other and figure out who's going to take. Okay? So if yours are laid out, take a look. Maybe you guys can swap and look at each other's. Or you guys should swap and look at each other's. Um, so what did you figure out? Which answer did you select for your analysis question? Why is that not a chemical change? Let's make sure we understand, or you understand where um, you got stuck. We're only changing the size of the cheese, but not like mixing it with anything or creating a new substance. Oh, perfect. So that um, is a great example of a physical change. You're spot on. Um,